Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at Option Alpha, and in this video tutorial, what we're going to talk about here today is probability and odds analysis for the stock market. So, this is actually one of my favorite things uh, to talk about, and I'm going to use the Thinkorswim platform here to kind of run through some scenarios on a stock that we're going to look at here today and just show you guys how to use uh, this amazing feature. Um, probability and odds analysis is something that I can honestly say has saved me a ton of money, if not made hopefully a ton of money by not making bad trade or by staying out of bad trades, I guess, trades that don't even have a chance of making money. And so we'll talk about that here today in this video, uh, as always. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to my Thinkorswim platform and uh, I already have a chart of lows up and the ticker symbol is LOW. So this is the chart of lows at the time of this video recording. So you can see it's on a very, very nice bull run. Now I just threw up any old chart here. I just picked lows because it was in the headlines today and I was reading stuff about lows. <clears throat> but you can use this for any chart. Now what we want to do with our analysis here of probability and odds is that we basically want to take a look at lows and we want to see if the likelihood of lows making a substantial move or a move into an area that our strike prices or option strategies might be is a pretty good odds or a pretty good chance, right? It's like a casino or like gambling. So if we, for example, say that we think uh, Lowe's is going to be heading up to 29, do you know, is that a good, uh, are it, historically, is Lowe's able to make that move in a given time period? And that's the whole idea with options trading is you want to make sure that you're on the side of the odds, or at least you have them tilted in your favor, so that you make good decisions, right? If there's only a 1% chance that Lowe's gets up to 29 by February expiration, which is uh, coming up here, then that's not really a good trade, right? You're not really going to risk a lot of money for that. But possibly lows, given historical volatility and how much it moves, maybe there's a 75% chance that it's going to make it up to 29. Who knows? But that's what we really want to look at. Now, it's very easy to find out this information. You can find out where the stock is going to move over a long period of time, given the historical volatility and movement of the stock. And you can really pinpoint where you think the stock is going to go, uh, both in magnitude of move, so how much it moves both up and down, and uh, across the horizontal axis, so in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right over to the Analyze tab here, and I already have lows set up. So let me use my awesome highlighter tool now and show you guys what this probability analysis chart is. So all I've done is type the ticker symbol LOW in the top here. And this chart actually shows the probability of lows making it inside this range. So let me just go over here. Up and down here are the prices, and you can see that the middle line right here is where per lows closed just the other day. So this is that dotted red line. That's where lows closed, and you can see that the chart starts from that direction. So it goes both up in that direction along this blue, and it goes both down in that direction. You can see it's fairly evenly tilted because really there's a 50-50 chance it's going to be higher or lower, right? Now down along the bottom are the dates, right? So right now we have days from today. So you can see that one day from today, two, three, four, five. You can see that on the fifth day here is the January contract expiration. And Thinkorswim is so smart, they put that right on there so you can see it vertically on the chart. You can see over here is the February expiration for any Lowe's contracts. That is 33 days away. So you can see it's really helpful to see where lows might be given this time period. Now what they also do is they take some of the more relevant points and they put them here as probabilities inside this chart. So you can see right now that January 12 contracts with five days left, which corresponds to the five here, that there's about a 50.83% chance that it's going to be between, that Lowe's is going to close between 23.69 and 23, or and start 26.32. So you can see that that's about where it should be, right? About a 50-50 chance it's going to either close above or below that range. After you start getting out further in contract months, right, you can start to see that there is much more of a tilt in the odds, right? So instead of being 50-50 here, you can see that all the way out here, January 2014, which is 733 days from now, you can see that there's about a 10% to 8% chance that it's going to be within this range here. So within the range of 2369 to 2895. 
it's got a much higher likelihood that it's going to be below that range actually so below 2369 so again if you're a long-term investor this may uh, kind of scare you there but the idea here is that you look at this chart this probability analysis and you make inferences about where you think Lowe's is going to go you use this to then correspond to uh, options trade that you're going to use so for example let's look at an uh, a example right now and I'll just clear this chart so let's say we're going to trade February contracts so we're going to look at 33 days here my probability range I have up here is 70 percent this is important here you can change this probability range at any point but this probability range up in the top right hand corner of this video it's important and what it's basically saying is that based on the historical trading of lows this chart will automatically adjust so that anything inside this blue region anything inside this blue, blue cone here there's about a 70 percent chance that you're going to be right in that Lowe's is going to move anywhere between here by expiration so as you get more or as you get higher in your probability range you want to capture 80 percent of the move 90 percent of the move this cone here will start to expand it'll start to expand wider on both ends and that's really going to capture the move because it wants to be 70, 80, 90 percent confident that Lowe's is going to make that move. But again, what we're concerned about here is February expiration. So again, if we have a contract that we want to enter in February, let's say that we have uh, the 29 options which are right here. You can see that this is outside this probability range. The probability range goes right here. It stops at 28.76. That's where the calculations end. So what this is basically saying is that even though you make that 29 trade, so let's say you're just going to buy a regular call, that if you make that trade, that you're actually more likely to lose money than you are to make money by expiration, right? Because it's only going to move as far as 28.76. You need it to move up to 29. So this probability here, you got about a 70% chance of losing money on this trade, and that's really what you want to be concerned about. you got about a 30% chance of making money. Now again, if the risk reward favors that type of trade, if you think it's worth that investment, then go ahead, knock yourself out, right? Make that trade. A more conservative trade and a trade that is more likely to make money would be something around the 28 region. It might be a little bit more expensive, but you can see that at the 28 region here, we are well within the 70% confidence threshold. So there's a 70% chance that we're actually going to make some money on this trade, right? We could lose money, uh, as always. It could always move up. It could always move down. But it's just a better trade to make. So you can see how I use this personally in my own trading is I look for trades that are outside of this confidence range. So I'll even move up the confidence to, let's say, 80% up here. Again, you can just highlight it and type it in. Move up the confidence to, say, 80%, and you can see that now the upper range here at February is 29.83 so what I'll do is I'll go out there and I'll find options like the 30 and see if I can sell those options for a decent premium I've got an 85 percent chance of making money because I want the stock to close anywhere below that price range as long as I can sell those options or sell a spread or anything like that above this range then I've got some good odds on my favorites better than 50 50 at the casino or not really 50 50 since the odds are on the house but that's what you want to do with options trading. You want to take a look at these odds. You want to make sure that you know uh, where the odds are. Is the stock likely to move into your target by your date, which is even more important? Not only is it going to move there, but how fast is it going to move there, right? So these are some important things that you want to consider as you start to make your next trades. Uh, as always, hope you guys enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. Please take a second to share the video right below here or add any comments to the video, and I'll definitely be able to answer those right away.